I have noticed that a lot of people engaging with that kind of like new age spirituality seem to be getting quite disillusioned with some of the QAnon stuff. Mm, interesting. They are coming. Tell me more. Okay. Well, it seems like um, the overall gist is that they are beginning to feel a disconnect between their, what they consider like their inner spiritual motives and like this hatred and vitriol that is encapsulated in some of these more extreme conspiracy theorists theorists and you know um one of the things for me and maybe for you as well is seeing some of these um, new age spiritual types who tend to be like coming from like the grateful dead culture or like crystal culture or whatever falling down these QAnon rabbit holes and like seemingly losing well-intentioned good people in this morass of uh, just conspiracy and stuff. And they seem to be kind of breaking away from that. Um, I hope so. I'm I mean, a lot less... I'm very familiar with the first leg of the dynamic you describe, but you're saying that you think that they're pulling away. What's some of the information that you have on that, on that front? Um, just uh, like seeing certain subreddits uh, about like decultifying themselves. Like, and a notice of like a lot of online spiritual gurus, like say like Russell Brand and people like him who have kind of bought into these conspiracies and they seem to see the cult-like atmosphere from which they've been engaged in. Now, maybe not across the board, but enough of the discussions that seem to indicate that people are starting to maybe feel into it that this what they're receiving is not genuine, not coming from a, a holistic place, but maybe just a, um, uh, like a, like a conspiracy, like, like, you know, like for instance, um, you can tell, I don't know who all the spiritual gurus are, but like, you can tell like when, for instance, Russell Brand made his shift into anti-vax, like that seems to be the, the nexus, like that anti-vax conspiracy tend to just fit right on in with theirs and it's almost as if initially that anti-vax thing on the right kind of validated their own experience mm -hmm. and then maybe two years out to what was it three years two years five years i don't know um it seems like they're really beginning to understand at least i think intuitively that there's something off about that whole thing and so it's been a real pleasure for me to kind of talk about this um hemisphere duality in a way that makes it logical for people to for them to see why they're so set in their beliefs and maybe how to take them away from concentrating on the minutia data and put that into the bigger picture which is where spirituality comes from in essence is right kind of like um anyway so i just thought that was uh really good to see and maybe a hopeful sign that some of this um, conspiracy stuff is starting to lift and maybe we can start talking about things of spiritual natures without all that culty gobbledygook that tends to be permeating online right now i hope so, that's so just too. my thought I, yeah so anyway I appreciate it. um i think that you know absolutely. that if they're getting de-radicalized in that way that community has some some branches that can that the left can appeal to. So, I appreciate it, Dan. Sure. Thank you. I mean, that's absolutely. Have that, a wonderful day. You that's too, the trend for any sort of. I mean, whether it's religion, right? Schism is the typical. Rather than cohering more and more, uh, 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 sort of tightly, you get schisms. And like, I don't know. The QAnon stuff is almost like it's like a spiritual revival that took place in the context of a post citizens united media environment so everything is geared towards campaigns mm -hmm. <laughs> um uh even if it's uh about like some sort of like wide reaching pedophile conspiracy pedophile conspiracy and uh i don't know it's probably bad but um it doesn't surprise me because i i always thought like it'd be tough to I, I I I don't feel like these things just snowball into like taking over the world. Like I think uh, you get a brief moment, and then all of a sudden the people realize like, hey, this is kind of geared towards 
getting like Matt Gates elected. I don't know like, yeah. if that's what I'm really interested in.